Do 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 do, Gretcha. Hi, welcome to the Bubs and Cantilevers Reviewed Podcast. I'm Greta Bartow. And I'm Christina Bell. Today we will be discussing how MEMS are used in the medical industry. MEMS, or microelectromechanical systems, are miniature machines that have both mechanical and electric components that work together to implement a desired function. Micro cantilevers are universal platforms for measuring a multitude of physical, chemical, and even biochemical factors, depending on the type of coating. The medical industry is extremely important to quality of life and is constantly aiming to cultivate more innovative methods and procedures to improve health care for the world's population. Think about what life would be like if we didn't have the opportunity to receive medical care. Access to everyday medicines, doctors, and specialists has improved life for millions of people, and it's hard to imagine how life would look without it. In addition, disease management has become increasingly popular as the number of individuals suffering from chronic illnesses such as diabetes and cancer continue to rise according to fightchronicdisease.org. Another problem the industry is currently trying to solve is the high expenses of disease management programs. There is also a large focus towards mental health and emotions in today's society. Have you noticed an increased discussion about mental health? Research shows the, the amount of counselors in the workforce is increasing as a result of the growing discussion. Doctors have a hard time determining mental illnesses because there is no way to measure chemicals that trigger emotion or to know how someone is feeling. This is also true with individuals who have autism. It is often difficult for others to understand what emotion they may be feeling because many times they are unable to communicate how they feel. Greta has experience with these sometimes difficult situations. Growing up with an autistic brother, I've seen how difficult it can be for individuals living with autism and other special needs to communicate their emotions. This makes it increasingly difficult to help them calm down or receive the help they need. Oftentimes, autistic individuals depend on others in everyday life, and this becomes increasingly difficult when they can't express their feelings and needs. My family was always looking for different ways to help my brother communicate with us, and while some methods worked well, none were efficient enough to work in the long term. Another example of how chemicals can impact a person's emotions is low levels of serotonin. Healthline states that many people who struggle with depression experience low levels of serotonin, which is known as the happy neurotransmitter. These low levels can be a result of genetic factors, poor diet, and environmental factors such as a lack of sunlight. According to the U.S. Department of Health, people who suffer from depression can experience suicidal thoughts along with changes in sleep, appetite, energy level, concentration, daily behavior, or self-esteem. This decreases their quality of life and has a negative effect on their health. WebMD states that antidepressants and treatments for depression often lead to improved mood, better sleep patterns, and an increased appetite and concentration in patients who use them. We plan to focus on the use of a type of chemical sensor array, which was introduced in the mid-1980s. Chemical sensor arrays were originally developed to detect and measure the amount or concentration of one or more substance in a controlled environment. These substances can be gases and chemicals in the human body, measures of temperature, or certain contaminants in a sample of blood. These devices are chemically discriminating, meaning there are a set of cantilevers within the array that are each looking for a different substance in a given environment. Since the 1980s, chemical sensor arrays have been developed to administer tests through patches that contain microneedles which put patients at ease. These patches utilize cantilevers that are programmed to detect certain hormones and chemicals that can later be observed on a separate technological device that is relayed from the MEMS. MEMS and cantilevers are already being used in the medical industry in many ways. Hearing aids, heart pacers, and glucose sensors are all examples of products that involve this technology. Our MEMS technology will work much like those lifted, listed above, though it will be detecting chemicals that cause certain emotions and reactions such as serotonin and dopamine. Understanding when these chemicals are released will help us discern what causes them to be released and how to help patients reduce certain chemicals in their systems in order to promote a more stable emotional and physical health. Currently, there are sensors that are used to detect these chemicals and measure their physical and emotional effects, but there aren't any companies that are creating products specifically geared toward individuals with mental illness or special needs. Patients with mental health issues and special needs often experience increased anxiety. We feel that our product's needle patch delivery system will be very beneficial because patients will feel at ease with this testing as it is non-invasive.
According to exhibitors, three of the top companies in the medical MEMS cantilever industry are Allwin 21, CoEx, and Microlean. Allwin 21 produces MEMS machinery such as rapid thermal process and plasma etch. CoEx covers MEMS cantilever devices with special coatings. Microlean produces micro needles, thermal imaging sensors, and microfluidics. None of these companies are specifically targeting patients with mental illnesses or special needs. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the healthcare industry is growing 14% from 2018 to 2028, adding about 1.9 million new jobs. This in addition to the compound annual growth rate for chemical sensors increasing 7.51% according to Mortar Intelligence, with the market expected to increase between 2020 and 2025. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, mental health counselor employment is projected to grow 22% between 2018 and 2028, which is much faster than the average occupation. Overall, the use of this technology could help us better understand others, properly diagnose patients, allow for the best treatment, and make cases more personalized. With society's lack of focus on the issue of mental health and special needs, there is an opening for our product to be pronounced in the marketplace. Not only will our technology create a better quality of life for those using it, but it will also lead to an increase in jobs and innovation in the medical field. We give chemical sensor arrays four stars out of five. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week to learn how MEMS and cantilevers are used in your everyday life. Do-do-do-do, Gretcha!